Hi everyone, let's understand panel of EVU's 12 student life. This is the free version. In my previous video, I have already explained you how you have to download it. Now we would understand what is this panel and how we are going to upload our file manually as well as how you are going to upload any Excel sheet. So first of all, we would understand, you can see here, this is the panel is divided into two parts. One is command, another one is capture. This one is the, where is the, your output, your results will come out. If you are not using any command, you can do it simply, you will press here, that would be auto hide. When you are using command, simply you will go there and you will press here and you can unhide. So you can see here command and this one is the result output. Then we can see here, you can see here is command explorer. Suppose you are working on any equation, factor, geomap, graph, a lot of, lot of options are available here. Sample, scalar, each and everything is here, table, system. So we will use further in my coming up tutorials. Then we come to the, you can see here, path. This is the path is already given over here. Then DB, database is none because I am not using right now any database and work file is none. Now I am going to, I am going to create any work file. So what, what I have to do? Simply I will go here and I will click here on new and I will press work file. And in this work file, you can see here, this is the data because three kinds of data, unstructured or undated data. Let me increase my little bit size. Just increasing 150 and now I think more visibility. Yeah. So you can see here work file structure type. There is three kinds of data. Unstructured, undated, dated, regular frequency, balanced panel. So unstructured and undated means the kind of data where is cross-sectional data. Cross-sectional data that is not a time series data, right? Any variables you have taken at one particular point of time, that is cross-sectional data. But when we are using data regular frequency, that means we are talking about time series data. And we will work on each kind of data. And balanced panel means we are talking about panel data. So one by one, I'm going to creating all my data files. You can see I want, I'm working on, let's say, cross-sectional data. I would like to create this kind of data. So this would be unstructured, undated. Work file, you can give any name. So I'm giving WF1. That means work file 1. I want to create only one page. So let's say I had pressed OK. Observations, let's say how many data range you require. Let's say I require one to one, or I require 60 observations, let's say. And simply I would press OK. So now you can see here, range is one to 16, sample is one to 16. These are my, these would be my observations. And you can see here, these are the, this is the panel where n number of tabs are available. One by one, we would learn all the tabs. Now we come to the, this is the, for the cross-sectional data. Now I want to create one work file here. That would be work file I want to create for my time series data. So I had pressed it and simply I just want to give it work file two. Let's see. And page is one is more than enough. And uh, data, I don't want data quarterly, monthly, bi-monthly, fortnightly. I am taking data annual. Start date, let's say I'm saying 2013 till 2021. Right. And I would press OK. Sorry, there is the range I have not given properly 2021. So now I would press OK. Now you can see this is my work file 2. You can see here 
this work file one ws1 because i had given this name let me command section because i am not using command so that there would be clear visibility you can see here i had given page number one and work file one and you can see range i had given one to 16 and 16 observations in that way it is created that is for cross-sectional data and this is I had created for time series data. For the time series data, I had given already defined my range 2013 to 2021. And this is the page one. Suppose I want to add, add one more page. So you, simply you would click here and you can, you can have one more page or copy extract from current page. It's like Excel sheet. And uh, here is a uh, uh, Let's say, suppose we would like to create a work file for panel data. Panel data means, you understand, panel data means we are talking about cross-section as well as time series. Panel data is the combination of both these kinds of data. So, I am giving just here work file 3 and page, let's say, I am giving 1. And uh, annually data, again, I required and uh, let me, I'm taking 2015 to 2023. This would be my start date and date and number of cro cross sections. Let's say I'm using four and I would press OK. Now you can see here, this sheet is for my cross section. data. Work file 3, range is 2015 to 2023 and total like from each year you can see total 4 kinds of variable I have taken into consideration. So there would be 36 observations I have taken for my panel data. So I hope you understand how you are creating manually without help of command. Command I am going to cover up in my next video. And without taking help of command, I had created some work file directly to this particular eViews. So thank you. Keep watching. Stay tuned.